come at me. New England Scott Izenga T images CNN touts itself as the most trusted name in news, so we'll just have to take Jake Tapper's word for it. The Patriots are cheaters. The CNN anchor made that eye-opening pronouncement on his network's airwaves Monday, but before New Englanders grab their pitchforks, they should be advised that the Ardent Eagles fan was engaging in some pre-Super Bowl trash talk. OK, that's not likely to quell irritation at Tapper from Patriots supporters, who have long bristled at suggestions that the team's unprecedented run of success has to do with anything but unparalleled hard work, focus and the sustained brilliance of Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. For those questioning Tapper's news judgment Monday, though, the Philadelphia native was happy to share on social media a 2015 ESPN article titled, Spygate to deflate gate inside what split the NFL and Patriots apart. Tapper saw fit to impugn the Patriots' organizational integrity during an exchange with fellow CNN anchor Brooke Baldwin, who noted that Tapper and his father were at Philadelphia's Lincoln Financial Field on Sunday to see their beloved squad destroy the Vikings in the NFC Championship game. After calling it a dream to go to the unbelievable game, Tapper was joined in pro-Eagles fandom, at least temporarily, by Baldwin, who said she still wasn't over the way New England broke the hearts of her and other Falcons supporters in last year's Super Bowl. The Patriots are cheaters, Brooke. The Patriots cheat, the 48-year-old Tapper replied with a bit of a smirk. I mean, this is just a fact, as established by investigations. They're a cheating team. The facts speak for themselves. In their exchange, Baldwin wished Tapper good luck in peddling his cheaters' accusations to another CNN anchor, John Berman, a Massachusetts native and lifelong Patriots fan. Berman subsequently saw fit to jab at Tapper with a Crisco line that referred both to Philadelphia's unsuccessful attempts Sunday to foil traffic light climbing Eagles fans and to something about his colleagues' personal preferences. Tapper returned fire with references to Deflate Gate and Berman's alma mater, Harvard. Yet another notable CNN figure, national security correspondent Jim Shuto, joined the fray. He retweeted a post by presidential historian Michael Beschloss showing one of the earliest photos of Philadelphia, with Shuto asking Tapper, was that around the time of the city's last major sports championship? Tapper swatted that shot aside, noting that the Phillies won the World Series in 2008, to which Shuto replied, yes, I'll grant that one bright spot since the 8,283 sixes. A New York native, Shuto then struck a less chesty note by saying, of course this is coming from a Giants fan whose lone bright spot this season will be the second pick of the draft. Other Twitter users also caught the attention of Tapper, who had begun trolling the Patriots on Twitter Monday morning. Eventually, though, it appeared that he was almost ready to tap out. Read more from the post The Giants hired Pat Shermer as head coach despite that dismal final game with Minnesota How do the Redskins differ from this year's Super Bowl teams? Let us count the ways. The Patriots have a glaring weakness. Can Nick Foles and the Eagles exploit it? Boston TV station uses Aaron Hernandez's photo in tweet about Patriots win.